Josh Warrington is back on BT Sport in front of his adoring home crowd here in Leeds. Honestly, there's nowhere like it. He has earned the right to dream big after all he's achieved. Cheers, boys. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Fight number 10 at Leeds Arena. Um, it's like my second home, isn't it? You know, just, just coming in and, uh, you know, same old drive, same old change of rooms and uh, same old outcome. And still, really relaxed today. Really, really relaxed. Just done a few things different throughout my day because fight, can, fight day can have a massive effect on what happens. You know, you do weeks and weeks of training, it all comes down to this moment. And uh, you've got to hold your nerve in these kinds of scenarios. and. You know, you want to make sure that you're as relaxed as possible. And at this moment, Sam, I'm lovely. <laughs> you certainly look it, mate. Uh, so what have you been doing today? Just time with the family and stuff? Um, breakfast. Uh, just fueled up, really. I went and, go, went and see my kids. A little cuddle off of them. And then when I said bye to them, they were more bothered about Peppa Pig than me, so... <laughs> <laughs> I fancy another night tonight, to be fair. I can feel it, Chris, you know what I mean? You know when you just feel it? <laughs> Okay, we've got 12 round contest for the yes. IBF uh, Championship of the World. If you get knocked to the canvas, I want to see you on your feet when I get to eight. I'll look in your eyes, I'll ask you to walk towards me. Be strong, yeah, okay? Nice. We, we fight on. Nice. If you're all over the place, you go back to your beautiful family, yeah, right? You yeah, know the yeah, score, yeah, we're yeah, here to yeah, look after yeah, each other, right? I actually think he needs to do this quicker than 12 rounds tonight, but I'm going to say what we've all been thinking. He's got to get hold of this kid, and he's got to get him out of there. It's a big task, and it's a big ask. But this is, and this is it's a cliche, this is a deep, tough French... I think it's a great arena, one of the best arenas in the country for boxing. Uh, Warrington, the, the support and the fan base has grown, it's fantastic. Um, you know, I think it's second to none at the minute in the, in the UK. In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest neutral corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Let's have a good fight. So here we go, 12 rounds, IBF featherweight championship of the world. This crowd here in Leeds, and it's oh, an good. intimidating atmosphere. That's good from Warrington. Lift his arm top, then go down. And a sort of right hand there from Warrington. Yeah, attack from Warrington, the abiding memory of this opening round, and he's really trying to unload as we come up towards the bell to end the first. You don't like it when you cross, yeah? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that thing where we're crossing up things, yeah? We're working with this here. Yeah, we're working with this here. Take your punches up and I'll be coming. What he's doing is responding to his first attack. Referee Bob Williams getting the second round underway. Oh, great shot! Yeah. Right hand, he went down, yeah. but it's going to be given as a count. 
He jumped straight back up instinctively, but the right hand put him down. Just caught him square, didn't it, against the rugs. And also, how hurt he was, I think his feet were square. It was a lovely straight right hand from Warrington. He's caught him again. And oh. again and again, he goes down for a second time. Big headshots. And Takus now has got to show that he's ready to continue. Bob Williams will look very, very carefully. He wants to see him move OK. And Warrington now moves in for the finish. Looking to stalk him, looking to find more big headshots. Takus holding on for survival's sake. Still more than 20 seconds remaining oh, in this dramatic Good second. And he's going to go, is he? No, somehow Takus stays up. He's taking massive shots and worried to try and put it away. And it's all over. He's finished it. It's all over in the second. Bob Williams steps in there, rescues Sophia Takus. Josh Warrington gets the spectacular win he craves. And still, IBF featherweight champion of the world, Josh, the Leeds Warrior, Warrington! He looked really hungry tonight, back to his... his best the kid's never been stopped remember he's a decent kid but josh warrington got up close and found those quality shots i thought it was a brilliant performance and he also said before the fight it just started what do we need we need an explosive performance hopefully a stoppage and he delivered it and we might be out of it night pablo thank you mate. thank you enjoy that uh, it wasn't bad, that one, it? <laughs> I don't know, I had the bit between my teeth tonight, you know what I mean? I was kind of at time, a bit ridiculous, you know, stomping forward, but I knew I was going to catch him clean. I knew it was like one clean shot. I mean, the way that I've been sparring and getting the sharp shots off, I'm just getting better and better, I think. Coming to my prime now, I feel, I feel strong as an ox, and uh, credit to him, credit to him, game, game, opponent. I'm sure I'm doing IBF ring now. <laughs> you know my address. I'll expect it in the post. Um, but yeah, you know, and another thing as well, a massive thank you to the 6th Regiment, fantastic, you know, that way, that was so motivational, you know, after, when I was stood there and about to go on the ramp and I could, um, I could hear them, mate, I could have run through walls after that. Yeah, just finally, just show us that belt again. It's one of my team members after Frampton, he had hold of it, and uh, I called him over to cut my bandages off because my hand was killing, and he chucked it like a rugby ball on the floor, so it's got a bit of a mark on it, but there it is. <laughs> Well, you, now you're going to take it back to the two little girls who don't really care about it. <laughs> no, probably not. I'll put, they'll just bash it about, stand there, play on it, and then go play with Peppa Pig or something instead. <laughs> he absolutely set the place alight, didn't he? That was punch perfect. So, obviously, talk now is going to be moving on to who he fights next. Now, he's desperate to unify, but he's sort of running out of dancing partners a bit, isn't he? Well, yeah, there's a Chinese guy called... Yeah. I've got to pronounce his right. Zhu, I think it's pronounced Zhu. And he's fighting in a couple of weeks' time, or in, you know, in early November, um, defending his title. If he comes through, I'm hoping we can make a unification. They was electric tonight, weren't they? they was, I mean, they was on fire, and they, uh, they absolutely love him to death, don't they? And he's, uh, he gives them everything back in the ring. And you've been in the game a long time, shall we say. Do you still get excited by performances like that? I do. I mean, I'm jumping around all the time when I'm watching them. It's the, that's, what, that's why I still do it. Us dinosaurs have got legs, you know. <laughs> I think we'll duel that, won't we? I think we needed that, to be honest. Um, just to start a bit of faith again, you know, with fans. So, yeah, we're very, very uh, we're pleased with that. Pleased with that performance. They listened to me, closed the distance down well, and um, that we got the result that we're after, really. Brilliant. And the last question I always ask you, uh, Sean, how are you going to celebrate tonight, mate? I'm going to celebrate with a big bottle of Sailor Jerry's that's on ice at home waiting for me. Big kebab and whatever else is on offer. Hey, round of applause to the